I took months away from Twitch because we finished season one of the dice game in like August and I took a nice long break and everything was great and it was nice to not DM. We did a few like side stories for just the Discord server. Red, if you don't know, DM'd that, those sessions. We did a few of those like in between big seasons. And so I was taking my break and everything was great. So I made the announcement that we're gonna be doing Dice Game again, season two, episode one, this Friday. This Friday, days away, Dice Game is returning. The show is back. That's what I thought. So I go in to log into my Twitch account, right? Click log in, you know, type in my username and password. I click log in, but I notice something. This, this page has haunted my dreams. Not literally, but honestly, it probably might as well. Normally, two-factor authentication is not a problem, right? I've preached before that two-factor authentication is important and everybody should have it. So because of that, right, you need a token. So, right, you know, I put in my phone number from a while ago. It's fine. So I click this, request SMS. Normally, I would get a text saying, oh, here's the code, input this code, whatever. The only problem is I have my old number attached to this account. And not only can I not find my old phone, but my old phone is disconnected from like data. So I wouldn't get the text anyways. So I'm basically locked out of my Twitch account. And I am furious because I was going to have a really cool mechanic for season two and I was super excited about it and now I can't because I needed the channel point system for this to work now I looked it up and if when you make a new account like when you make a new twitch account you don't get affiliate you don't get channel points so you basically have to start from scratch so this means either I'm locked out of my account that has affiliate and channel points which honestly I don't understand why channel points aren't just like an account wide thing that doesn't make any sense to me. So either I'm locked out of this account, I can't get in it, and I have to make a new account on Twitch and start from scratch and feel bad because so many people have so many channel points on my old channel and kind of just take the hit or I fix the number and change the number to my new number. So I tried to do that because that seemed like the only logical thing to do. I reached out to Twitch and I get an email back, right? Automated response saying, we'll fix this. So it's like, okay, so then I wait, and then I get another email, and then I get this email, right? In order to change the listed two-factor authentication phone number to your current one, please fill out this phone change form, which I already did previously. You do not need to have access to your old phone number to change your number. You only need to know what the number was, and I already did that. So then it literally just tells me what to do the thing that I already did. Then it told me that it will send me a confirmation email and I'm pretty sure I never got it. The entire process may take several days. It's been three days at this point. It's not the weekend anymore. Where's my freaking email? Why can't I still log in? We recommend that you install Authy mobile app. Here's the problem. I didn't have that app originally. So having it now really doesn't make a lot of difference because I can't change a number that never existed in the app. How am I supposed to change the number if I never had this app previously? And I can't change the phone number because I can't log into my old account. I don't understand why they can't just change the old phone number now. I, I, I filled out the form twice and I have never got an email back. Has again a request SMS. Oh no, error occurred. Oh no, error occurred. And then if I do it enough, it says you've done this too much. And no, I didn't get a text on my phone. My phone is over there. I'm gonna check right now. But yeah, so basically, uh, Mastery Twitch is dead because I literally can't log in because I can't change the phone number because I can't log into the account. And I filled out the form twice. So if this problem does not get fixed by Friday, then I have to scrap the amazing idea that I had for the dice game. And I just have to kind of take that bullet as is. I like rarely ever use Twitch. So like, why would I need to do it for Twitch? I don't, why did I do it? I don't know. I don't even remember setting it up. So all of this to say, I have a new Twitch account, the dice game live. I have to start from scratch basically, 
which I'm fine with because I feel like season two is going to be different from season one anyways. I, it just sucks because now we don't have channel points anymore. Now I don't have affiliate. I need to stream at least seven times. I need three current viewers. I have to do all this dumb stuff again to get affiliate so that I can get channel points again. So we have to do seven episodes of Dice Game before we can even get channel points again. Follow this account. This we're most likely going to stream to this account because I'm so sick and tired of dealing with my account stuff. So follow the Dice Game Live on Twitch. We're going to do it this Friday. It's going to be on YouTube and Twitch. Channel points will be on Twitch only. So be sure to turn on notifications. I'll have this link in the description. Please follow it. I beg of you. Uh, <laughs> so I was super excited for the season two premiere of Dice Game. And I was going to have a brand new mechanic with the channel points that the players could actually use. But I can't do that. And I don't know a good workaround for it. So... It's going to be scrapped for a while until we can get channel points. According to the internet, I need at least 500 total minutes broadcast in the last 30 days. So about eight and a half, nine hours, at least seven broadcasts in the last 30 days. An average of three concurrent viewers or more over the last 30 days and at least 50 followers. So all of you follow this account, please, so that I can get affiliate again. So that way the dice game can be like 10 times better <laughs> because... I'm so upset. I might even just do some like, I had an idea of like doing like a marathon stream of like all of the episodes on Twitch and looping that so that way we can get like some numbers rolling so I can finally get affiliate. I was thinking about that because I think that could be kind of fun to do like a, like a marathon stream of like all of the episodes. But that's an idea because like I have to stream freaking seven times. I could just stream every day this week, but like what do I stream? This is like a new account, a new dice game account, you know? Like what, what am I supposed to do? If you have any ideas, let me know. But honestly, I'm just like, I'm fed up with this whole situation. But this is a new chapter. I'm taking it. It's fine. It annoys me, but it's fine. If I can get my account back, then we can go back like how we normally did it. But if not, this is my second option that I most likely will probably have to do because let's be real, they're not going to fix my account. <laughs> There's no way. Anyways, dice game this Friday. Go follow the Twitch account, please. I have to start from scratch all over again. And that sucks, but it's fine. It's been months since the dice game. And I'm super excited to bring it back. I think I've missed DMing and just doing it. I think it's going to be a little bit different than season one. I used to do season one in like episodes where each arc was like its own episode, like its own contained story. I think season two is definitely going to go more along the lines of like the long form story route. In season one, there was like a lot of little hints to something bigger. But I think in season two, it's going to be a more prevalent thing storyline if that makes sense honestly for season two i'm gonna leave it very open because i think the players have their ideas of what they want to do and i'm gonna just let them do it and see where we go from there and i think it's gonna be really fun so that's the update um i know i keep saying follow the twitch account but like literally it would mean a lot to me if we got 50 followers i doubt it's gonna happen in a week but it's a start and um yeah dice game means a lot to me for rather the community to like make our own like story and i think that's cool it's a very collaborative effort it's not just me even though i dm it most of the time it's definitely a project that i could not do by myself so shout out to everybody who's been a part of the dice game season two is going to be great and i'll see you friday